when I was 19, I was raped violently. I was threatened with death. I felt lucky to come out of it alive. I was sexually abused as a young child by a very close family member for quite a good number of years. I was raped when I was 16 by a, a friend that I knew from, from school and um, the impact of this was it completely destroyed my life. I started taking drugs because that made me forget about what had happened. I then was suffering severe depression, felt suicidal. Well, the Rape Crisis Centre basically gave me my life back. Sexual violence um, can have a devastating impact on women's lives. And I think the real value of rape crisis services is that we can be there for them and with them. We kind of listen, we believe, we don't judge, we offer a safe, confidential space. Rape and sexual abuse can happen across the country, in cities, in more rural areas, and often happens more frequently than most people really think. I felt worthless, very depressed. It impacted on every area of my life. There was a kind of feeling of being tainted, of shame. There's always a part of you that thinks, you know, to some extent you are to blame. I didn't tell my mum because I wanted to protect her. I didn't want her to know that this had happened to me. I didn't want to even tell the doctor. I was too embarrassed, really. Eventually I told my friends, but they were the same age as me, they were 19 and they weren't able to deal with it, they didn't know what to say. Family, friends and partners, it can be sometimes difficult for them to really know where to start and to know what kind of support one might need or, or what to do. That's why we have a network of centres in Scotland, right from the Western Isles down to the borders. I come from a really rural area and my mum told me about the phone line service for the, the centre in Aberdeen. And so I called them up and I actually freaked out a bit the first time and hung up. And then I, I gave it another shot and called them again. And in the past, I always had felt no one really understood what I was saying and where I was coming from. But these women made me feel like, you know, they knew what I was going through. I felt like for once somebody was finally listening to what I had to say. We've been in existence for the past 30 years. We've learnt a lot from women who have come to us. And what women tell us that they need is a place where they can come, where they're not being judged, where they're not kind of being diagnosed in a sense. Well, it took me 30 years eventually before I came to the Rape Crisis Centre. And initially I was scared of going. I hadn't contacted them for 30 years and I thought they would laugh at me or they would say, well, there's not really anything we can do for you. But when I got there, I found that they were able to deal with what had happened where others hadn't been able to deal with it. And for the first time, I was able to meet women who understood completely what I was talking about. Rape and sexual abuse are not like other crimes. They're a very personal violation of a woman. And we're here as a service to offer them kind of specialist support from trained kind of support workers um, who can support them at their own pace to begin to, to, to move on with their lives. They were fantastic. I was overwhelmed with gratitude that somebody could understand me after all this time. It was such a feeling of relief to walk in somewhere where you feel just so comfortable, so accepted. I'd never experienced anywhere like it before. There was a warmth, there was such a caring attitude about everyone that worked there. I just had never experienced that in any of the other services that I'd accessed before.
Rape crisis can offer other things that kind of generic counselling services can't. You know, for example, we can offer advocacy. That means we can go with a woman to the police, we can go to health appointments, any other appointment that she feels that she needs support to kind of go to, we can be there with her along that journey. These centres were not clinical, you know, that they felt like home and you know, you're, you're welcomed into them and, you know, you've got a nice cup of tea and a nice lady to chat to. And then also as well, having someone that I could talk to on a one-to-one -one basis or on the phone. And they were always there for me whenever I needed them. Hello, Root Crisis Helpline. The National Helpline is open every evening from 6pm to midnight. It offers support for women and men aged 13 and upwards who've experienced any type of sexual violence. Hello, Rape Crisis Helpline, Noreen speaking. Rape Crisis is an accessible service. Uh, we offer interpretation services for um, any woman who comes to us who um, is deaf or hard of hearing or kind of whose first language isn't English. Also, our materials, our information materials are all translated into a range of community languages. Eska number? Lingba, Lingbaba. Nua, Yidna, Nua, Tri, Nua, Dva. Rape Crisis also does preventative work with children and young people. We go into schools and, and youth services and we kind of changing attitudes about sexual violence. We also do campaigning to influence changes in the law and changes in public attitudes. The process that they lead you through is very gentle. I got one-to-one -one counselling. They didn't treat the rape in isolation. They're able to deal with the whole woman, if you like, and help me unravel a lot of things that stem from what happened to help me grow into the woman I should be, really. It makes you realise that you're not alone. There's other people that these horrific rapes have happened to and we all draw support from each other. Definitely people have noticed a big change in me and all for the better. I seem to have blossomed. It's just been amazing, you know, it's been a fantastic step forward. I would never have been able to achieve this without the support and guidance that the Rape Crisis Centre have given me. Now I'm, I'm living my life and I'm, I'm having a great time. Even after going through a, a horrific experience, you can still come out the other end and go and live your life and enjoy it. And now I live life to the max. It's crucial that these centers are there because they can help give you your life back and move on with things.